Now to outrage in the music world. The co-founder of Rolling Stone magazine and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is under fire for comments he made that are being seen as sexist and racist. Jan Wenner has now been removed from his leadership role that helped to bring the museum to Cleveland back in 1995. Rolling Stone and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame co-founder Jan Wenner doing damage control after his recorded interview was published in Friday's New York Times about his new book, The Masters, a collection of interviews with music icons that does not include women or people of color. Wenner said about female artists. Insofar as women, I mean, there were just none of them were as articulate enough on this intellectual level. And about black artists. I suppose when you use a word as broad as the masters, the fault is using that word, you know, but uh, maybe Marvin Gaye. You just, I could cut Curtis Mayfield or, I mean, they just didn't articulate at that level. Wenner was kicked off the board of directors of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation, which built the Rock Hall Museum in Cleveland in 1995. We did it. Where the grand opening featuring state and local politicians and music industry celebrities was broadcast live on WKYC. What a long, strange trip it's been. Wenner, who was inducted into the hall as a non-musician in 2004, and the Hall of Fame's leadership have heard criticism over race and gender before. And Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, please, 2020, induct more women. Thank you so much. Wenner issued an apology through his publisher that said, I made comments that diminished the contributions, genius, and impact of black and women artists, and I apologize wholeheartedly. Meanwhile, the Hall of Fame confirmed Wenner's removal, but gave no reason for its move.